This is the uh, 2014 9.5 foot tall inflatable uh, Peanuts Christmas pageant globe. I got this at the uh, inflatable warehouse. Uh, the guy, he gave me it for I think a hundred bucks, which I think is a really, really good deal. Uh, this was sold. This was originally sold at BJ's back in the day. Um, so it, it was brand new. We, we had just tested it. Um, he put the, he attached the, he attached some tethers onto it because he didn't want them, he didn't want them getting tangled up or whatever. I, I, I don't know, but, um, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys. The, the box is a little weathered. Um, this is one of those inflatables that you have to actually tip upside down to get the, uh, inner box out. As you can see, the fabric is in the It's got a, it's either a 125 or a 200. I think it's a 125. Because typically they only give 200s to big animated inflatables. That and colossal ones. Now this doesn't have any C7s. This has LEDs in it. But not, not the kind that you guys think, not the ones that are used on regular inflatables nowadays. These are the uh, light string ones, which light up really, really good. Yeah, this thing is absolutely massive. This is one of the um, biggest licensed globes they ever did, as far as, I'm, as far as I know. Licensed, not the biggest, you know. Not the biggest globe, but the biggest licensed ones they did. When we had tested this back in the warehouse, I noticed the light string was tugging on Snoopy. So once this once this gets inflated, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. You guys can kind of see the inside, or maybe it, maybe it will come on. Yeah, no, it's still tugging. You can see. And. Um, she has lights in her too, which I really like. They could have just, you know, left that undone, but they didn't. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. So slow, slowly but surely it goes up. There's some markings on it from the warehouse. We inflate a lot of stuff there. So, you know, there's some, sometimes stuff gets on it. And there it is. No, I, it, no, it looks like um, it's not tucking in Snoopy anymore, which is really good. So there it is. As you can see, it is absolutely massive. The thing wants to explode. I mean, like you can, I can't, you, you can't push down on that. Um, I, I, I think the light string is only supposed to be on this side, nothing on that side, which is unfortunate. I, it looks really weird that there's only a light string right there, nothing right there. Maybe the lights fell. I'm not sure. Um, the base itself goes up to about four feet uh i mean i i go up like what i go up like right here i mean you can just see like how absolutely massive this thing is i am so happy i bought this um i, I was i was kind of thinking was this an impulse buy and now that i'm seeing it again i'm just no this was not i, I am this, i'm so happy i got this um let me see on the uh, side you can see where the lights twinkle. They don't. They don't. They, they don't strobe. Um, if you guys remember my old globe, uh, which was I think 2012, it was sold the same year as the Snoopy light. No, no, maybe I, I, don't, I don't remember. I think it was sold the same year as the Snoopy light show. Um, I when when we went to go get the globe, I remember seeing the Snoopy light show in person, and that thing was just, oh my god, it, it was so cool back then. It still is now. It's just a lot smaller than I remember because I remember uh, Lucas gave me his worn out one to fix uh, his prototype one. Uh, but it was smaller than I, than I remember. And that's, that's the beauty of growing up with these things. You know, back with, I, I, you guys remember I used to have that globe. It was Charlie Brown, a, tr a tree, and Snoopy. Um, it had the same box design. And, um,. What's it called? Um, it, it's smaller than this. That one was only. Lucas said it was like six or not six. Yeah, six foot tall. Which I, I think it was seven. But I mean, I, I, as I said back then, 
these things, you know, would look like eight feet tall when in reality they're like six foot tall. So I can't even imagine how big this thing would have looked back then. So if we go on the back of it, it's, it has the same background as my older globe, which I absolutely love. It's got that zigzags, not really zigzag, but like it zigzags down because it's like the globe. I, it's just, there's a lot of this one that I remember back then that was on my older globe. It has uh, two air pockets, one right there and one right there. Uh, contrary to what a lot of people think, air pockets are not to keep this globe from bursting. They are there so the, char so the characters stay inflated. Um, if you cover them, the air pressure inside is too much and so they start and it so it pushes on them and starts to deflate. So contrary to what a lot of people think, that is the actual reason. Um, I need to fix a couple, I need to, you know, push them forward. They're supposed to be forward. They're leaning back because they're, yeah, they're caught. Hold on. Push them both forward. Yeah. The inside of it smells exactly like my old. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of weird, but there's just certain aspects that you remember about your older inflatables. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. I, I gotta I gotta fix this thing. It's supposed to be down. But you guys get the picture. So this is the and you can just see like how like white and everything is like it is oh my god, I didn't want to I just there's so much to say about this thing. I love it so much. So this was the 2014 nine foot tall or 9.5 foot tall. So almost almost 10 foot tall guys. Uh Charlie Brown uh Christmas pageant globe. I love it. I totally recommend it. If you have a BJ's near you, I I don't doubt that somebody probably bought this. So just check marketplace. I'm sure you guys can find one. And I, I just I, I love it so much. This is such a great inflatable. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and you guys will be seeing a lot more reviews soon. Actually, one tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and just more and more to come. Actually, expect like three more reviews coming. I have like a couple packages coming in the mail. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.